Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is the Komuro money has always been shrouded in mystery. The main reason why the issue of Kei Komuro's marriage to former princess Marco became so complicated was the financial trouble between Kei Komuro's mother and her former fiancé. The problem, which had not moved at all for nearly four years after it was discovered, was somehow settled and put to rest soon after Kei Komuro and Marco registered their marriage. What is the mystery behind the money surrounding Kei Komuro? On November 18th, it was reported that settlement money had been transferred to Mr. X, the former fiancé of Kei Komuro's mother, Kei over her financial troubles. The amount transferred through Kei Komuro's attorney was 4,093,000 yen. Although it was said to be a settlement rather than repayment of the debt, it was exactly the same as the amount Mr. X had claimed to have lent. This raises a big question. Why didn't the Komoros do this before registering their marriage? If the Komoros had paid the money and settled their financial problems before joining Marco, the Komoros could have proudly explained at the press conference that they had already settled their financial problems, and the public would have received the marriage differently. It is whispered that the reason why the Komoros were able to transfer about 4 million yen immediately after registering their marriage was because Marco, not Kei Komuro himself, paid the money. In the first place, the reason why Marco's marriage to Kei Komuro became such a big deal was because of the financial troubles that were uncovered. Suspicion and criticism erupted from the public that the lump sum of over 100 million yen that was to be paid to Marco by the government upon her marriage would be used to pay off the Komuro family's debts. Finally, Marco withdrew the lump sum. However, even without the lump sum, it is not impossible for Marco to help with the settlement. It is reasonable to assume that Marco herself has a certain amount of savings and that she received a certain amount of dowry from her parents and grandparents upon her marriage. However, there was a wall that stood in the way of Marco's financial support before the marriage. In fact, the exchange of money by members of the imperial family is restricted by the imperial household economy law. Therefore, it is highly likely that it would have been difficult for Marco to help pay for the settlement while she was still a member of the royal family. The imperial household economy law stipulates that an adult member of the imperial family may only give money of up to 1,600,000 yen per fiscal year excluding private economic activities such as shopping and ceremonial gifts to foreign countries. In other words, if Marco wanted to help pay the approximately 4 million yen, she would have had to wait until she left the imperial family. In retrospect, the Komoro money has always been shrouded in mystery. From now on, however, it is not Kei Komoro's problem alone. Now that Marco has turned down the lump sum payment, whether or not she can maintain her dignity as a former member of the royal family, which is the purpose of the lump sum payment, depends on the financial situation of the their family. The above information was shared based on the contents of an article in December 2, 2021 issue of Shukan Bunshan. Thank you for watching.